what do you say to the people which you directly instructed them to do that? Uh, good job. <laughs> good job for listening to me. It's just being edgy, that's all it is. Okay, serious video. I have a script and everything. Gotta respect tradition. Um, just like that. Hi, how's it going? It's me again. I'm Weast. If you don't already know me, I'm just a dude doing stuff online. If you do already know me, I'm sorry this is so out of place and weird on my channel. Uh, ooh, my bad. <sighs> okay, here we go. A while ago, a long time ago, I learned something that we should all know by now, right? If you feed the trolls, they only get more hungry. This could not be any more true than in the case of popular Fortnite Overwatch trolling YouTuber and acclaimed oh yeah yeah guy, Maximilian Muss. I recorded parts of what was supposed to be a different type of video like this two years ago. And what was supposed to be sort of like an interview of this guy using his massive 1 million subscriber audience to just troll and harass people turned into almost a year of me being essentially stalked, harassed. I got doxxed a couple of times and even swatted actually. I've never talked about any of this online because I've always been the guy that doesn't publicize too much drama, too much personal shit. I learned to ignore the trolls, no matter how vicious they might be. But that didn't really work with this guy. I'm still not sure if this video is a good idea, considering the fact that Maximilian self-terminated his channel as a result of the backlash he received from Mudahar's video and Charlie's video. Shout out to both of those guys for talking about this. I, I know I have a platform, but I was always intimidated by the idea of challenging someone like Max not because of his subscriber count, but because of what I knew he was capable of and probably still is capable of even in his hiatus. But at the same time, my friends all kind of got in my ear and told me that I should speak up. I should talk about my sort of experience with this guy, yada, yada. And I, I don't want this to be like that fucking cringe YouTuber apology style cancellation video. I want to talk about the real shit <laughs> that I just haven't been able to talk about out of anxiety and fear and, and just uncertainty about what would happen if I talked about this crazy fucked up shit, but I'm doing it now. A lot of people were emotionally tortured by Max and his, his legion. In my case, the harassment actually spread outside of my content into my personal life, which is why I never really talked about it. On my Twitch streams, I'll sometimes talk about my personal life uh, my viewers know certain things about me, but I, I kind of stopped talking so much about stuff like this just because it gave Max the attention that he wanted. Even if I wasn't referencing him, even if I wasn't mentioning him in any regard, if I talked about the cops coming to my house because someone told my local police that I was a deranged veteran about to kill my family and myself, if I talked about that, Max would have known that Oh, he's talking about me doxing and swatting him. Well, getting his viewers to do so. That way there's no culpability. All these things happen, according to Max, in the name of trolling, just having fun online. This all started actually in, in 2019. My friend Henry, Henry um, is Blue's Think. He was getting harassed and fucked with, I would say on Max's scale, relatively moderately. It was your, you know, like, raiding his Twitch chat, raiding his Discord server, sending him death threats, shit like that, empty death threats, having, you know, dozens, hundreds even of his followers do all this shit. And this is shortly after the uh, the peak of his career with the oh yeah, yeah meme. He had a lot of young, impressionable viewers that would just do anything that this 1 million subscriber Fortnite trolling YouTuber would say. I saw that, I was actually, I, one, I was appalled and I was fascinated by it. I've always loved internet anomalies and I thought it was anomalous that a person with 1 million subscribers could pretty much publicly get his fans to go and raid other, I would say decently popular YouTubers and have their viewers like spam the N word in their Twitch chat, say, I'm gonna kill you, I hope you die, you should kill yourself. I was amazed by that. 
And so I reached out to Max and I offered to interview him. I was interested in making a piece on him, not a hit piece per se, but talking about it. And, and, it, and I knew it was gonna be one of those situations where if you let the idiot talk long enough, they would eventually back themselves into a corner, at which point people would just see how truly stupid and fucked up they are. It quickly went from that level of, by most people's standards, extreme trolling to Max actually saying stuff on his server like, someone should go to the next insomniac and kill him. It, it, reading that is so absurd. It's so absurd. Like, it has to be a joke, right? But then you have to ask yourself, well, what part of that is the joke? I saw Max as basically the most popular edgelord I've ever seen. And I've always been fascinated by edgelords. You know that, talking to a level 99 edgelord. It's one of my favorite videos of mine. And so I wanted to do an interview. I cannot believe that someone with this platform could get away with such filth. And surprisingly, he agreed to the interview. And what followed was probably the worst hour and a half I've ever spent in a Discord call in my life. You know, I'll go ahead and throw Skype and Xbox Live in there as well. I asked him pretty mundane questions relating to his situation, uh, questions about himself, and he relentlessly contradicted his, uh, his own ethics and morals in what he does or what he did. And then when he realized how stupid he sounded, he dragged his friends into the Discord, who then proceeded to freestyle rap about how I was um, a child rapist. I wish I was joking. It's dumb, right? It's stupid. Like, that's funny. But at the same time, oh God, what the f what are you What are you doing, you fucking weirdo? It would be one thing if this was like uh, a 15 year old angry white dude, just, just mad at the world, screaming the N-word on the internet, like Jesus Christ. But that's almost expected when you log online. I mean, this is some anonymous fucking 20 year old dude from Sweden with a million subscribers on YouTube. That's why it's so shocking, right? The list of things that he did to myself and especially others goes on so long that I, I have to read from this list here. After making dozens, and I mean dozens of secret sort of private closed off Discord servers for his community to join, he would easily convince and incite his highly impressionable followers to do the following. And I'm, I'm not gonna emphasize this too much. I'm just gonna go down the list. If something catches your ear, you can be like, bruh, and then we can move on, all right? Rating trans streamers to misgender them and convince them to kill themselves. Rating female streamers to insult their appearance, make sexual remarks and sexual threats and convince them to kill themselves. Rating popular creators servers to spam all sorts of really cool racial slurs, IP grabbers, try to dox people where they can. Just normal, cool kid internet behavior. Spam the replies of popular content creators tweets with stuff like Max confirmed you're a pedophile, Maximilian must exposed you, oh yeah yeah Max is better than you. At one point he had his viewers actually like all pretend to be me like change their usernames and icons to like Weast fan stuff like that to threaten this poor guy on YouTube. I'm not gonna show his face or his name or anything like that but this guy obviously was just making videos for himself about like stuff that he found interesting for his you know 12 subscribers max rated this guy's channel to make threats and demand an apology from him for i don't remember what i don't think it was anything and this guy genuinely like broke down and was in fear i mean he genuinely thought that he was at risk of something. I, I don't know what that guy's level of independence was, but he definitely seemed like a vulnerable individual and not someone that you should do that to. He definitely seemed like a guy with some sort of um, spectrum disorder or a cognitive disability. And I think that was very obvious to Max and that's why he chose him and targeted him specifically. He saw what was probably a very autistic guy making YouTube videos about like Disney movies and shit like that. He got his followers to, s to spam this guy's comments with threats and, and, and demands and stuff like that. I don't know, I think that's just fucking disgusting. He had his viewers pretend to be mine uh, in order to target other streamers under the guise of being from my community in order to hopefully get enough streamers mad at me, enough streamers communities mad at me to mass report me and get me banned. He essentially wanted to get me banned from Twitch by having his audience pretend to be mine to get me in shit. He manipulated his viewers to band together to dox popular and even more obscure creators, all for the funnies, myself included. And like I said earlier, they called my police station to get me swatted. And I guess hopefully the idea was that the cops are gonna come and kill me. I have recordings of the kids in the Discord call talking about it. One of them mentions, don't people get killed from that? Don't people like die from that? And I think the kid said something like, yeah, that would be cool or that would be funny. 
thankfully those kids were kind enough to have their webcams on when they were talking about this. So thanks buds. Thankfully, I live in a small town. The police arrived at my house and I talked to them for a solid five minutes. They took care of everything. Shout out to those guys. That was kind of cool. Max could convince his audience to do basically anything. He would praise these really young kids for just being as edgy as possible. He would pressure members of his community to go live on YouTube, live stream themselves dancing around naked, whether or not these people were adults, even go so far as to shit in their hands, rub it on themselves and eat it. I'm not joking. He even convinced one person to write my name on a slip of paper and then shove it up his own asshole and then pull it out and like play with it. Obviously, I won't be showing any footage of that. You'll have to kind of just take my word on it that this screenshot is one of many actual moving pictures. According to Max, this person is an adult, so at least there's that. Max loved to spam his Discord server with all sorts of like baseless war plans and tactics and strategies for fucking with people online. And he kind of wanted his community to do the absolute worst inside of his server as well. He thought it was hilarious when people spammed uh, child porn. He thought it was so funny funny when people would like post videos of of kids getting killed and, and people getting their limbs chopped off, people getting hit by cars, people blowing up, people getting their their heads smashed and shit like that. Like that's that's just funny. That's just ah peak comedy, right? He would encourage his community to do all this shit and then also when it came to the public eye claim no power over his viewers at all. He would say, I can't control them. I can't control what they do. He even went so far as to claim that he did not condone his audience's actions, especially their more malicious ones, but he also commends them for doing malicious shit when it's under his directive. My girlfriend's father passed away and it was completely unexpected. And it was a huge, a huge blow to her family. Max seized the opportunity to harass my girlfriend over it. And you know, keep in mind, this is a very tender point in her life. And he had his followers say just stupid, stupid stuff. Mindless cringe, making fun of this poor girl's dead father. Very classy. There were many, many nights of sleep lost to the carelessly inflicted pain that Max and his followers caused to my girlfriend and I. Despite what he would have you believe, I would say none of this were the result of just harmless jokes. I would say uh, these points were beyond the realm of subjective humor. And if you think that this is just another case of just trolling and it's funny to me, it doesn't have to be funny to you, I'm sorry that you sit alone at the lunch table. I am of the belief that the majority of people are decently sane enough to realize that this is fucked. I don't think you can justify these things as, well, it's the internet, what did you expect? I expected literally anything else. <laughs> Maximilian's attacks on all sorts of people were malicious, organized, evil, plain and simple. Evil and hatred and disgusting filth. At one point in time, I was really mad at the individuals behind all the comments that Max told people to spit out. And then I realized that these droves of people, they are victims of classic creator to follower manipulation. I mean, reading some of these comments there, you can tell that children type them. Kids, kids type these things, dude. Kids younger than 13 with a Discord account and a once in a lifetime opportunity to talk to their favorite Fortnite troll. They would do anything to get praise from the oh yeah, yeah guy. If you were one of those kids, if you're watching this video and you were one of those kids that participate in that stuff, I am not mad at you. I'm sorry for you. And I hope you've learned from all of that. If you were a simple passerby casual viewer of his content, I'm sure a lot of this comes as a shock because he was really good at hiding it somehow. I don't know how a guy with that large of a following was able to hide his identity, his real name. It's not Maximilian. And most importantly, his crimes, his what I would say are internet crimes, and then some of them being real, actual crimes. If you are a fan or perhaps even a member of his army, I wish you the best in like your journey towards recovery, but I, I have, I hold no uh, ill will towards you. In fact, I welcome you to a better side of YouTube. You don't have to subscribe to me, but I promise you there is better stuff on YouTube than what he made and the stuff he put out and the stuff he did. There's way cooler stuff on the internet for you. I promise you that. Since Charlie and some ordinary gamers made their 
videos. I got a lot of apologies from former avid viewers of Maximilian saying like, I'm sorry that that happened to you. I had no idea that it was this serious. I thought we were just trolling. Don't be sorry. You were a part of some sick fucks chess game. He brainwashed you with the euphoria of being anonymous yet extremely edgy online. The camaraderie of spreading racism in Twitch chat with no repercussions. I hope you find a new outlet. I even welcome you to my community. I stream on Twitch and I make highlights out of it and I post gaming on the other channel. I post fun stuff here and whatever. I actually have a video going up on the main channel uh, this week. Aside from this one, I interviewed a guy who makes YouTube bots that automatically produce Twitch highlight videos 100% autonomously and uploads them to YouTube. It's really cool. So if you're into that sort of thing, if that interests you, I look forward to that. Maybe. Back to what I said about Charlie and Mudahar's video. After they made that stuff, I got a bunch of DMs from people being pretty sympathetic towards me, and that's fine. You don't need to be sorry. But I also had people that were not so sympathetic. I got a lot of people saying that I deserve what Max did to myself and my girlfriend, Christian, because of my part that I played in the Slazo, I guess, drama of 2019. If you're unfamiliar, I help perpetuate lies about Slazo unknowingly. And if you still hold hate in your heart towards me for that, I am sorry. I opened my mouth about something that I knew nothing about regarding a person that I had never spoken to before. And since then, I've gotten to know Michael a little bit and we're mutuals on Twitter. So there's that. He's a great guy and I am sorry as hell for what happened. I believe that all good things come in time and I hope that includes your forgiveness if you are still upset about that. I'm still not sure why Max made targets out of YouTubers and streamers specifically. M maybe he just realized the power that he had with his audience of that size and his anonymity and he just decided to go for it and he ran and ran until he ran out of gas. All that matters now is that Max is gone and we as a community should see this as an opportunity to learn and grow. We can't let bad people get that much power again. We can't let these kids online get sucked into this rabbit hole of depravity, into the clutches of maniacs like Max. I'm not saying we should cancel every YouTuber that does a little bit of trolling. I mean, holy shit, we'd all be done so, right? I'm just saying that we need to be more mindful and I'm hopeful for that. Now that he's gone, I am much more hopeful. He was like a mad king atop his throne of child porn and racism and anonymity. But now hopefully he has no ground to stand on. And in his indefinite absence, we can come together and learn and hopefully grow. A shout out to all my friends who got in my ear and encouraged me to make this video at least something talking about all this because I've been putting it off for about 18 months now. <laughs> Specifically to Mad, he really encouraged me. Uh, I thought I'd rep his merch in order to thank him. Shout out to Anna and Brandon. A panda, he worked with me so closely on gathering this stuff so long ago and I just never did anything. I'm sorry, bro. Henry for helping me out. James Key. Thank you. Slazo, thank you for your words of encouragement, my guy. I appreciate that. And to all my friends, my followers, thank you guys for being supportive of me through this shit. Whether or not I publicly talked about it, I would not have been able to continue on if it were not for you. Okay. Holy shit. I hated that. <laughs> the words, I think, are almost irrelevant. It's the intent. The intent. Yeah. The intent to cause harm. What do you say to those people? Well, if the intent is to cause harm, then that's bad. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you it, say? If it... Go ahead. No, go on. What do you say to the people which you directly instructed them to do that? Uh, good job. <laughs> good job for listening to me. Okay. Well, I, uh, <laughs> I guess that's all I really have for you.